Good morning, beautiful people. It's Sherry Moulton back with another video. I'm just going to bring it down, bring it down. There you go. I'm going to attempt to do something a little different. I'm doing <clears throat> the resin coasters that I've been doing with the flower and the piping bag, but I'm going to try to add some of my new mica powder into the white mixture. I have um, Sapphire Ghost Blue, which to me, I think is basically the same as that iridescent medium that people are using. So I'm going to try. This is what I've come up with. Oh, I'm sorry. Cool. I have my basement window open because so the light's a little different today. There you go. Perfect. So with that further ado, I'm going to tell you what I'm using. I'm using my two part epoxy um, Envirotech light. Um, I'm using the Casting Craft Opaque Pigment. I used um, one and a half ounces of resin and I put nine drops in that. And I put one eighth of a teaspoon of my Black Diamond Sapphire Ghost Blue, or Sapphire Ghost Pigment. Um, and on the reverse side, well, I'm sorry, we'll do this. I bought these. They're just kind of cool. They're like little curly cues. Now Michaels had them when I was in there and they were expensive, but this is Christmassy, but the dollar store had them for a dollar and a quarter. So I bought those colors. I bought these colors. So I'm going to try. So I put a tablespoon of these little critters. They're going to be in the center of the flower with just a little bit of epoxy to just make it adhere and I'm thinking these might not float away and then with the part two of the can the coasters once I put the the back part in so this will be for tomorrow I'm going to put on the back of it this recollections um awesome glitter I need to buy stocks this one is called a uh, marine blue and I'm going to mix some of my deep blue sea pigment with this and that'll be the back of the coasters. So with further ado, I've pre-mixed my resin. I've got eight ounces of resin. And like I said, I got an ounce and a half of the white with the pigments and the opaque cra uh, master, master craft, <laughs> sorry, and this. So I'm going to put one ounce in each of my cups. I'm finding I'm getting very good results with measuring this. So, one ounce in each mold. And it comes out more even, so I'm happy with that. Didn't have a good day yesterday. I tried to do this yesterday. I did it, but it my camera stopped because the battery was dead. And then my resin didn't work because I didn't make enough resin. And yeah, everything went funky. So another day, another try. The only sad thing is I'm going through my resin fast and I can't buy any at the moment. I am just gonna, don't need any more. So I'm just gonna divvy this up. We'll do half in each. I can't believe I've had these coasters set molds for like over a year and I just hated the way it, had to um that you had to sand them down i'm i'm a big believer of less steps <laughs> and i'm just gonna skip this so now i'm excited there we go so with that i'm going to give them a little bit of uh, heat gun, a little bit of a blink brick, brick the bubbles. There we 
go. I'm going to put my resin in my bag. I've actually went out and bought some piping bags. And I'm glad I looked at that because it's not quite in there. I'm just going to do it down here. I'm sorry, guys. Just so it's... I'm not going to... That would be the story of my day. It would end up on the ground. There we go. Not too worried about scraping out the cup because the cup ends up... I end up having too much of this every time. go. Perfect. Give a little bit of a twisty wisty. All right. I'm going to put, set that down there for a second. And I'm going to try and put some of this in there. We'll see how it goes. I just thought these look kind of cool. They look kind of like the center of a flower because they're all, they're all like little curly, it's like someone took a, a straw and cut them all. Let's see. And I might not use everything that I have done. Oh my God, there's no resin in that coaster. <laughs> I tell you, I am special. Oh my goodness. See, it would have been good if that was a coaster that had resin. Okay, let's bring you all in. Oh my goodness, Sherry. <laughs> oh. There's another giggle for you, Brenda. All right, let's do this. And I'm learning they don't have to be a whole lot of glitter in the center because it spreads. Oh my goodness, now I got this. I want to hurry because I don't want my white to go funky. Maybe I'll pick that and put that there. There. Maybe I'll just kind of do the same over here. Put a little bit more. Oh my God, it's spread again. Need to listen to myself, less is more. But I gotta make him even, so. All right. I had to work yesterday, so I feel bad because everybody's... I did um, a Michael's pickup because I'm off for a week, so I picked up a whole bunch of canvases, but I can't get any resin there, which is weird. It doesn't come up on their website. All right, so I'm gonna cut the tip off of this. My little, my piping bag. Sorry, I'm not... Uh... And this is hot as heck, which I know it means it's starting to go. All right, here we go. Little circles. And I'm hoping this blue interference, or sorry, ghost pigment comes out. I'm trying to go right to the edges with these. I don't know if you can actually see. It 
it is pouring out here today. So it's a good day to paint. So I'm hoping it still does the amazing effect even though I put that interference in. Ghost pigment, Sherry. Sorry. All right. Amazing. I'm going to be making something, trying to make something for my husband. He's had a stroke 12 years ago when he was 41 can't use his one arm at all so he is loves putting cups and that kind of stuff but he can't open them because with one arm it's very very hard so when I'm done doing this I'm going to show you what I'm going to do after so I'm going to mix some resin and try to make a holder that he could put the cup in the holder and I'm going to glue it well with resin to the bottom of a coaster so that he has a base for it to hold on to and I'm hoping it'll work we have looked everywhere medically to find one can't find one there you go I think that's going to be cool let me just give it a torch. I feel bad because there's such a, like look how much is left in that bag. I'm afraid to make less because then I might not, I'd rather have more than not enough. So give it a little bit of a torch here. Just to do the bubbles again. So we'll see if what happened yesterday was because of my adding the pigment or if it was because of the it resin being um, already past the time. So this is what I did yesterday. Now some might say, oh, that looks pretty, but it's not at all what, and as the coasters I did, they got horrible. <laughs> and I don't, like I said, I can't get any more resin at this time so I don't want to waste the resin so anyways so I'm going to show you what I'm going to do this is the pudding cup I cut the rim off I had this mold for resin so what I'm going to try to do is put the mold in fill it so that there's a rim around it I'm going to fill this with something to weigh it down and then pop that mold out and then adhere this mold to a coaster. I'll keep you uh, informed with that one. And also when I bought my canvases, I purchased this yesterday. Oh my goodness. It is Fire Opal um, Treasure Gold by Folk Art. So it's the same as my uh, my amazing glitter. So I'm like, oh my God, I had to have it. Anyways, I will see you in the morning for the reveal. Hopefully it turns out. Bye. Hey, it's me back with the unveiling. I am kind of impressed. I don't know if you can see how the, this is the back side. Look at how you can see the inter, or the ghost pigment. Pretty cool. And I like the little bubbly, like the little things. So anyways, I'll show you all of them. There's the other ones. There's the other ones. And there's the last one. Now, I also have these two from the experiment that I did earlier. So what I'm doing is I am going to put the resin 
to do the bases in all of them. I've changed my mind. I did not use this for the color. I actually use this, the um, Deco Art Metallics, the Bright Metallic Paint. And basically, I just, I stirred it up with my big stir stick, and then what was on my stick, I just put into my resin and my glitter. My Recollections Marine, Marine Blue. And I'll give you a little look. See, this is what the color of the back is going to be. So, with that being said, I am going to measure out, because I found that was amazingly wonderful. Actually, I'm just going to get a new one. Where did I put them? I just had them. Hope everyone's doing well. Happy Good Friday. I started my morning with having to clean out my deep freeze. I had nine bags of garbage. My deep freeze came unplugged. And I lost everything. So, that's how I spent my morning. It stinks down here, oh my goodness, I tell you. Not, <laughs> not a good way to start. But I knew it was coming, it happened Monday. So, the things we have to do, eh? That is a beautiful color. I don't know if you can see that. Well, amazing. More over here. I like, I'm impressed with the measuring. I want to make sure I'm stirring every time just so the glitter is not left in the bottom and that we're having enough sparkles for all of them. Ugh, I didn't put my gloves on. I just realized that. Oh well. I hope I have enough. I did six ounces. Just stunning. Amazing. All right. Now I'm going to use my glove here because I want to try and wipe this off here. Up here. I don't want stragglies. Perfect. All right. I got my heater going down here because I have my windows open because, oh my goodness, I've never smelt anything so raunchy in my life as the, as the freezer. <gasps> Just nastiness. All right. I'm going to give this all a quick torch. Get rid of the bubbles. God, so pretty.
There we go. Oh, that glitter is just amazing. All right. Wish me luck. I'm going to place that back in there. And I'll make sure I got him up the right way. I just looked at that one and thought I had it upside down. Oh my goodness, you can see that um, ghost pigment. Oh, come on. Oh, I don't want to push it. There we go. And here we go. Now I'm going to do a little, I didn't do a little shimmy shake, oh, maybe that's why I didn't do it last time. Try not to get the resin on the top of it. These are going to be beautiful. Just want to make sure they're in there. Perfect. Until tomorrow. Nice. Perfect. I'll bring him up and let you see. Isn't that just that you can see that holographic? Well, I keep wanting to say holographic, but looks amazing. So anyway, that's that. We'll do that tomorrow. So this is my um thing I was trying to make for my husband so he can open up the puddings. So this is the container that it come out of. This is just a, I had it in there. So now I'm going to try to put it on another one. Just some, I'm trying to figure something so he can open it. So we'll see how that goes. Anyways, we'll see you in the morning. Bye. Good morning. It's the time of truth. Let me pop these out. I am impressed. Very, they turned out amazing. Here, let me just. That ghost pigment turned out pretty sweet. See the ghost pigment in there? Like, look at it. It's just pretty. And amazing. Pretty sweet. And I like the idea. I'll show you the difference. This one's got those little round balls, like the, they look like straws cut. I don't know what they're calling them. Confetti tubes. And then this one's got the glitter. Kind of like the confetti tubes. And then the back. Pretty nice. There we go. I won't touch, put my hands on them, Brenda. Well, there we go. I think they turned out pretty neat. That interference, well, the ghost pigment mixed into the white. You can notice the difference. That's quite cool. Anyways, hope everybody's having a wonderful Easter weekend. And, um, yeah. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe. My video's a thumbs up and hit that little bell to get notifications. Anyways, have a wonderful day. Happy Saturday, happy Easter, and stay safe. Bye.